Hi everyone and welcome to today's Pilates practice called Strong Shoulders on the Mat. My name is Dana and I'm a Pilates instructor and a personal trainer and I specialize in showing women over the age of 40 how to change the way you age through what you eat and how you exercise. So today you will need a resistance band and it's all about strengthening through our shoulder area. So when you're ready, slip on something comfortable, grab a mat and let's begin. So our first exercise today is push-ups. So I'd like you to come onto your mat for me. And we're going to come onto all fours. So I'm going to show a beginner level and then show you a more advanced level for those that would like an extra challenge. So pop your wrist directly underneath your shoulders and your knees directly underneath your hips. Just be aware your shoulders are back and you're lengthening through the crown. Draw your navel to your lower back. Take a breath in and as you breathe in, bend your elbows and lower your chest toward the floor and as you breathe out, push that floor away. And again, inhale as you lower and as you exhale, push that floor away. For those of you that would like an extra challenge, just see if you can bring those knees back a little bit further and just shift your body weight forward so your shoulders are directly above your um, wrists. So from here, let's breathe in, lower to hover just above the floor and breathe out as you push the floor away. And again, inhale as you lower down with control and exhale as you push that floor away. Inhale as you lower and exhale, push the floor away. If you would like an extra challenge again, I'd like you to come up onto your toes Breathe in as you lower to hover and breathe out as you push that floor away. So just picking your level for me. Inhale as you lower and exhale. Let's do four more. Breathing in with control and breathing out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And last one. Inhale and exhale. So from there, just coming back onto your heels for me and just sitting up and just rolling those wrists, just giving those wrists a bit of a break. So doing work on our hands is helping to strengthen the bone density in your wrist. So it's a great thing to do. Reverse it, take it back the other way. Some people though find that their wrists, it really does hurt to um, pop your hands on the floor the way we just did. So if that does happen for you, make a fist next time and just going from that position. So it takes the flexion out of the wrist and will help support you while still strengthening through that wrist area. Okay, our next exercise is a plank. And planks are all about strengthening all our bits. <laughs> so when you're ready, just coming down onto the floor, Pop your elbows directly underneath your shoulders and I want you to lengthen through the crown. So imagine someone has a string on your crown and from this position just curl your toes under and I'd like you to come up into a plank position. Now while you're in this position I'd like you to draw your tummy toward your lower back. So imagine that there is a hot ball underneath your tummy and you want to get away from that hot ball. So draw your tummy up toward your lower back and keep holding that position. Just be aware that you haven't got your bottom sticking up in the air and just avoid your hips dropping down to the floor. So keeping that nice plank position. Try and evenly distribute your body weight between your elbows and your toes and keep drawing up for me. Now if you're finding this is getting too challenging, I'd like you to come onto your knees. So pick your level for me, keep drawing your tummy toward your lower back. Just make sure your shoulders are set down and keep breathing <laughs> and hold that position. And just coming onto your knees everybody. And when you're ready, just come back into child pose, bring your bottom back to your heels. Just allow your arms to fully extend in front. Just pop your forehead on the floor and just relax in this position for me. Hmm. Okay, so just coming up on two all fours again, we're going to do another wrist strengthening, shoulder strengthening and core strengthening exercise. So from this position, I'd like you to be aware that your shoulders are set down and I'd like you to fully extend those legs out behind you. Now holding that position, draw your tummy to your lower back Take a breath in. As you're ready to breathe out, lift and lengthen. 
And as you inhale, lower with control. Now alternate, exhale as you lift, and inhale as you lower. Exhale as you lift, and inhale. Now if this is too challenging for you, I'd like you to come just onto your hands and toes. And if this is too challenging, come back to your knees for me. Draw your tummy in toward your lower back. For those of you where it's hurting your wrist, I want you to make a fist and still holding that position for me. So picking your level everybody and holding that. So let's do another four. So lift and lower and three and lower and two and lower and last one and relax. Just coming back once again into child pose and just hold that. And relax. Okay, so from there I'd just like you to sit up for me and just get comfortable. If you find that sitting like this is uncomfortable, just pop a um, pillow or something underneath your bottom and you'll find that just make it that little bit easier. So I'd like you to grab your band now. If you don't have a band, just grab a towel and that will work exactly the same. So just popping your elbows in close to your side, sitting up nice and straight, take a breath in. As you're ready to breathe out, just open up, keeping your elbows glued into your side and inhale as you release back. And again, exhale as you open and inhale as you release. Exhale, open and inhale. And again, exhale and inhale through the nose. As you exhale, draw the navel to the lower back. Think tall through the crown and inhale. Let's do five more. Exhale and inhale. Four to go. Exhale and inhale. Two more. Exhale and inhale. This time as you exhale, hold it out for me and just do little pulses. Keep those elbows in, sit nice and tall and pulse for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and release. Great job. So the next exercise I'd like to share with you today is called side bend. So coming over onto your side for me and I'd like you to pop your elbow, your bottom and your feet at the back of your mat. So if I did a chalk line, there'd be one long straight line. Now what I'd like you to do is just be aware that your shoulders are stacked, your hips are stacked and your legs are stacked. Now imagine that there's a fire underneath your rib cage and really pull away from that imaginary fire. Just be aware that you have aligned the spine. So what I mean by that is you don't want your head to drop down. You want to think length through the crown. Draw your tummy in toward your lower back. Take a breath in. Now as you breathe out, paint an imaginary rainbow over the top of your head and pull up underneath and lift your hips up toward the ceiling. Keep the hips stacked and inhale as you lower back to your standing position. Let's repeat that. Exhale, paint that rainbow, pull away from your imaginary fire and inhale as you lower down with control. Now if you'd like an extra challenge, just straighten that top leg for me and exhale, pull away from your fire and inhale. Now if you've been doing Pilates or you are quite strong, you are welcome to straighten both those legs, pull away and inhale as you lower with control. So listen to your body, make sure your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders and inhale as you lower down. We're going to do four more. So exhale, this is the most advanced level and inhale, three to go. For those of you that are intermediate, keep that top leg straight and just keep that bottom leg bent. Two to go. For those that are just starting out, keep both those knees bent, pull away from your imaginary fire and inhale, and just making that your last one. Exhale, pulling over, lift away. Inhale, lower with control, and exhale as you sit up for me. So we're just going to come into mermaid stretch. So just bring your hand above your head, gently drive the hip out, and just look down at the floor so you're just relaxing through the neck for me. And just release. Okay, let's do the other side. So when you're ready, coming up to the other side. 
and doing exactly the same thing. So bring your elbows directly underneath your shoulders and have your elbow, bottom and feet touching the mat. Now pick your level. If you were level two, straighten that top leg. Level three, straighten both legs. So I'll start at the beginner level, take a breath in. As you breathe out, draw your navel to your lower back, pull away from your imaginary fire and paint an imaginary rainbow over the top. Now inhale as you lower down with control. So with Pilates, it's all about slow, controlled, flowing movement with what we call precision. So we're trying to set up posturally correct, so we are using the correct muscles and just doing our movements nice and slowly. Exhale as you pull over and inhale. You might be surprised to know that the slower you do your exercise, the more muscle fiber you recruit. So that's good because the more muscle fiber you recruit, the more toning that you are doing and the more fat burning you are doing. So let's just do three more. Still picking whatever level you're at. Exhale as you pull over, get away from your imaginary fire and inhale as you lower down with control. Two to go. Exhale as you pull over and inhale as you lower down. Last one. Exhale as you pull over and inhale as you lower down and as you exhale just sitting up nice and straight for me and when you're ready just coming into mermaid stretch just looking down at the floor so that you are just releasing the neck and at the same time just stretching through the side area and relax now the last exercise i'd like to do i call whirly birds so i'm going to ask you once again to just get comfortable so if that's sitting on a mat um, or if it's sitting on a pillow or even a chair that's just fine so once you're there i'd like you to fully extend those arms out and have your palms turned down and i'd like you just to do little circles backwards now while we're doing these little circles backwards i want you to think about if you're a woman over the age of 40 your bone density so we often find women over the age of 50, 60, I think 70% these days will have some form of osteopenia or osteoporosis. Now let's from here reverse those circles. So that can make, um, that is basically brittle bones and um, you're at high risk of breaking a bone having that condition. We know that one way of preventing osteoporosis is having strong muscle tone. So it can stay with me because these are all about strengthening your muscles. Okay, now just lowering that down. So from there, just bring your um, chin down to your chest, just releasing the neck and then just coming back up. And again, just lowering down and coming back up. And last one. Okay, so from there I want you to fully extend those arms again. This time you're going to turn the palms up toward the ceiling and just do little circles backwards. So there's lots of ways that you can improve your bone density and um, doing some sort of what we call resistance training, muscle strengthening work is one of those ways. And Pilates is a fantastic way of being able to start on that journey. Now let's turn your palms that way still and just go in the opposite direction so little circles the other way I'm hoping you're feeling that in the shoulders as much as I am okay run and just release from there just bring your ear down to your shoulder take a breath in and as you breathe out just release the tension and roll the head forward let's do one more like that inhale over the top and as you exhale just release holding it over here take a breath in as you're ready to breathe out, just turn back the other way. Inhale over the top and as you exhale, release and relax. And last one, inhale over the top and as you exhale, release and relax. And just bringing that back to the center. Thank you for joining me today. If you'd like some more information, check out my website, www.danaeden.com.au and stay with me, I'll catch you next time. I'll see you soon.